Sai again. Uh, in, the, in the previous video, we covered some of the basic fiber channel nomenclatures or some of the common terms which are used. In this video, we'll dive a little bit deep in, inside and look at from the uh, fiber channel network itself. So, what is a fiber channel network? Or another common term we might have heard uh, is uh, fiber channel fabric. Well, here I have a, a drawing of three switches connected together. This will be referred to as, as a FC fabric or a fiber channel fabric. Here you can see we have a switch one, switch two, and switch three. It's connected with a bunch of links here. Um, and in the previous video, we talked about N port and E port. So going back, E port are the, are the links which are connecting the switches together, the inter-switch links, as we would call. So this is an E port. These are, these are basically all E ports. Um, also in the previous video, we talked about fiber channel addresses where we have a domain area port. So each switch will get a domain. So here you can see this switch will get a domain or, or an identity of one, two, and a three. Um, so that's where domain typically comes in. Area is in typical in, in typical switches. Areas are which port in a switch um, this this link is connected to. So so let's see if I have a device as we mentioned before a host here and this is connected to uh, port one. Uh, port one, then this whole um, then this area would be referred to as as one here. So when we talk about how actual fiber channel addresses are derived, uh, we'll go a little bit deep into uh, what an area means. So this will be configured as a, this is considered a fiber channel fabric. Um, so now you, again, you might be wondering, you know, how does this host get its identity or its address? In an ethernet world, the MAC addresses are burnt into, um, an HBO or a, a, I'm sorry, in a NIC. In fiber channel, the fiber channel addresses are actually assigned by a switch. So what would happen is when this when this host comes up, they will perform what they call fabric logging or F logging. It's it's a fiber channel frame that goes to this switch. This switch will respond. With, with an accept and inside the accept we'll say hey your address is going to be 211 so that that this HPA here or this point right here gets an address of 211 so why did I put 211 well because this switch was given a domain of 2 it's connected to port one, so as you can see, it's two, one, one. Uh, we'll talk, when we talk about NPIV, we'll go a little bit deep inside this last byte, but this is two, one, one. So if I was, if I have another target connected, let's say, he will get, or this target will get an address of three, two, one. Why three? because this switch was assigned a domain of three. It's connected on port two and one again. Um, so this is a fiber channel fabric. We figured out how addresses are assigned when he, does, when he performs the fabric logging. Um, now, let's say if I want to send, if this host wants to send frame from here to here, what is inside, how, how does frame get there from here to there? So as part of the fiber channel frame, if I were to draw a simple fiber channel frame, I would have a, I would have an FC header. As part of the FC header, I would have a DID SID. What I mean by DID SID is the destination ID and a source ID. So if I want to have 
If I want to have frames go from here to here, this host will embed saying DID I want three, two, one. And the source here saying who sent it? Two, one, one. So if you remember, we talked about fiber channel addresses are hierarchical. What I mean by hierarchical? When the frame actually comes to this switch as three to one, remember the DID here was three to one, when the frame actually comes here, he will say, oh, this is, the first thing he will do is he will do a search on a domain or a, uh, saying, oh, my domain is two, but this domain is, this is supposed to be going to domain three, I don't even look at inside. Let me just send it to switch three and we'll talk about how actually this, this switch will learn where domain three is. But for now, let's say that this switch already knows where domain three is. So he will say, okay, I need to go out to this link. When the frame comes to this switch, uh, again, it's a, he will do a DID lookup saying three, two, one. Say, oh, this is, this frame, this domain is my domain. Let me go deep inside and look at area and a port. So he will say, okay, which, what is the area? Remember what I said was, when he did the fabric logging, he got the address of two. So he said, oh, it's supposed to go on port two and frames will go out here. So this is how the frames will traverse. And this is where having the hierarchical FC addresses helps in doing this switching. So you're only comparing in, in the external switches, you're only comparing sort of a byte or a domain, and then you are going out to the port. So uh, thank you for watching the uh, technology series. Hopefully you got a good overview of uh, Fiber Channel and FCOE, uh, and stay tuned for more uh, technology presentation from, from us.